get to the welterweight class. A big welterweight. He will face Chris Hambo Ham. Darwin in Lancashire, 30 years of age. And this man is a very, very fast athlete. Somebody who likes to hit hard, to hit quick. He's quite limited in his technical approach to the sport in terms of you know exactly where Chris Ham is going to attack you. Chris doesn't go for the hook. He's all about the top roll and very much of the opinion that the silver bullet is the way forward. He can hit you, he can beat you. And Chris Ham, Hambo, Chris Ham in the purple shirt, one of the freak shop, the shopkeepers. Trained by Andy Barker, Ian Stones, Mighty Paul Maiden, and the rest of the crew at the freak shop, of which I'm also a proud member of that team. And uh, know Chris Ham very well train with this guy very closely and I know that he's a lethal arm wrestler at this weight but his opponent is a thinking man's arm wrestler Dr. Derek Gross, the yellow shirt Nisko in Poland a lot of ability, what he's going to face here is a huge hit though and he needs to be ready for that because Chris looked calm Chris Ham of the UK at this stage but as soon as that goal drops he will be away like a bullet and it's whether the doctor, no. whoa, there's the hit. And you can see on the replay, that is a massive top roll attack from Chris Ham. And he smashes it straight down to the pad. And Derek Grosh just looked completely bewildered by that hit. Didn't get close to stopping it. He tried to counter, but his wrist and hand had already been slammed into the pad. And he was on the receiving end of a defeat straight off the bat. Chris Ham takes an early lead. What will the counter from the doctor, Derek Grosh, be on this KO? He's going for the hook. You can see him jumping forward, indicating he's trying to get the hook. If he does so, if he can make the match turn inside, his chances of victory improve greatly. Chris Ham, not known for his hooking prowess, doesn't like to pull with power on the inside, likes to try and use the levers and the speed. Watch for the start, so important for these guys, particularly for the pole, and he makes it. He's inside, and he reverses the decision almost as quickly as he lost the first one, 1-1. One, one. And it's an absolute, oh! I can't set myself up to commentate it before Chris Ham has blasted his second victory. It was a quick start, a no nonsense, no fuss set up, and straight to the pad from Chris Ham. The man in the purple shirt of Team Great Britain hammers it down to the pad, 2-1. It's turning out to be a bit of a seesaw battle, this one, and both men are serving aces. Do not blink. For those of you just joining the match, Chris Ham of Great Britain. The man in the purple shirt. Looks like a boy band member. With a 16-inch forearm. A little bit like the other famous member of the freak shop, Wise Grip Andy Barker. And this time we're in the hook again. And the doctor, Derek Grosh, gets that hook. Now watch for the drive. Chris Ham fighting it off well, but he can't hold on to it. And it is the doctor, Derek Grosh, with an equalising pin. As soon as that hit, hit the hook, you can see straight away that Chris wasn't comfortable. He was never out of the losing position from there on and sort of waiting for the second hit of Derek Grosh. It came soon after that. And the man from Poland levels the score, 2-2. Two -two. Chris Ham in purple, Grosh in yellow, and that's a massive hit again from Chris Ham. If Chris Ham gets out of the blocks, he is unstoppable absolutely hammers it down the three pins from the man from the uk have been just acid hits he doesn't wait one second just whack straight to the pad chris ham using the lap the muscles of the back watch for the big hit again he's loaded it up now huge start from ham there it is again chris ham and he's happy with that on the replay hammers it down it's a 4-2 victory another impressive debut the 